Branch, Raven County Community. This is Roger Glenn with POS Realty. And we are um, super excited, which is an escalated level of excitement to be here at Simpson Creek Gallery today, because in addition to being with the famous Cecil Thompson, who's the <laughs> owner and kind of the goddess, if you will, of Simpson Creek Gallery, um, this is one of our favorite places because everything is so cool. And the name very appropriate. So Cecil, thank you for taking some time to share your story with us. Well, delighted to have you, Roger. How long have you been here and how did you decide to... Well, um, I have been here 39 years and, um, and it just kind of evolved. I was always a collector. Um, my family collected antiques and um, I just kind of grew up with them and I, I just like to collect and um, I was a potter for a while but I was a better designer than, than a crafter and so it was a natural transition to start um, dealing with antiques. Um, I brought things in to um, decorate and accessorize the furniture that my husband, Dwayne Thompson, was making. And natural progression, just that I started gathering artists um, whose work I love. I, I, I only have work in here that I love. I only have things in my store that I love. I look at everything and I think, if this doesn't sell, do I wanna take it home? And if it's yes, then it's a go. And if it's like me, it's probably not a go. Yeah, so um, you have in the store artwork, um, antiques. Um, how do you, how do you, it's international as well as some local artists. What's the process you use to my, curate? My process is if I don't like it, it's not in here. I support American artists, um, uh, American cottage industries, um, American craftspeople. So if, um, if I sell you something, I stand behind what I sell. So if you buy a chair or anything from me and something happens, you let me know and I'm gonna be on the phone and I'm gonna go, Brenda, I've got a problem and I need help. And I know that Brenda is gonna fix it. Yeah. And I know my jewelry makers and so if I have a problem, I have to be able to pick up the phone, call whoever it is and get the problem solved. Yeah. And I also um, make sure that the things that I sell are of high quality, so I'm not always on the phone going, help. Um, so I, I, I stand behind what I sell, and I sell quality American-made goods. Yeah. In addition to the things um, that you, you purchase, from artists or, or other, uh, I think you used the term cottage manufacturers. Yes. You also have one artist in residence at a time. Is that how that works? Um, well, we have trunk shows, and and before COVID, we had really, you know, we would have um, artist openings and parties, but but I have a very special artist who has a studio on site here at Timpson Creek and Libby Matthews and she's been with me for 20 years 20 years now it's like a voice from, from <laughs> a pub, wasn't it? and stay tuned because the next feature that you see on Park Bench will actually be with Libby Hi. Um, and then you also have featured artists here in the studio, I think one of the works behind us. Yes, this is um, this is called The Gathering, and it is by Susan Eastern Burns, and Susan has been with me many years. 
Like Libby, Susan is a um, Georgia artist. Susan's been with me quite a few years. And then in 2015, Susan was the Kentucky Derby artist. So her artwork then was has gone all over the world. Yeah. And, um, yes. So Susan's very popular. And sometimes Libby will have Susan come to Timpson Creek and do demonstrations because her technique is wild and crazy. Yeah. And now um, I, I know that you participate, I believe, in the North Georgia Arts Guild Tour. Am I? Yes. Um, we, we participate in the art tour twice a year, one coming up in June, and um, we always have artists um, who are demonstrating, artists whose work we sell, um, and we have demonstrations, and uh, this year Libby in her studio will be um, doing printmaking, and so people are welcome to come for free and Libby will help them make a print of a very cool fish. So everybody should leave happy. <laughs> oh, that does sound neat. We'll have to get a sneak peek at that. Yes. And for folks that are new to Raven County or have not visited Raven County before and want to come out to the gallery, this is the tricky question. Where are you located? <laughs> okay. I will say, shop out of town. I'm seven <laughs> miles from the red light in the center of Clayton and headed west on 76 towards Lake Burton. So we're at the intersection of 76 and Charlie Mountain. Um, my husband has been here for uh, 47 years. And before that, um, when 76 was tar and gravel, one part of this building was um, Raven Ramey's beer joint where you could get really good hamburgers and I didn't get to drink the beer, but the Cokes were good. Um, <laughs> and he was my great uncle. Oh, the gentleman that owned it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yep. that's very cool. Yeah. yeah, and Dwayne actually grew up in this area, right? Dwayne is from Timpson Creek, and his family place is right up the road. Um, his grandfather's farm is now Timpson Creek Farm. They grow great organic um, produce. Yeah. And so, yes, so we pretty much... Um, know everybody in the Timpson Creek community. And I grew up in Tiger, but Persimmon was always one of my favorite haunts. So this was a well-traveled, we were either, you know, um, at my Aunt Jane's house on Lake Burton or we're up on the Cholula River. Yeah. Well, most folks that live out here off Charlie Mountain Road or the north end of Lake Barton realize that there's this little uh, concentration of cool businesses and a couple restaurants since yes. the, beer, the beer joint yes. isn't so here anymore. Timpson Creek is becoming quite quite the cool little community. Right. I heard there's a little real estate office somewhere around here that these, well, two, these two crazy people work the at. The cutest little couple have come in and right down the street, there's this very cool little cabin and um, Roger and his lovely wife and the real estate office there. And I do understand that the fireplace in that cabin is awesome because one of the first things Roger did when he came into Timpson Creek was buy several hand loads of white birch bark logs to put in his and decorate his fireplace. Yes, and they're they're spectacular. It's my little attempt to, to decorate. A little yes, bit. well you did very good. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, hours and days that you're open? Um, we are open Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 5. And then we also are um, available for special appointments if you call. Yeah. Um, and your website, is that the best place for people to go? I know, I think you've got Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. 
The best place to go is here at Timson Creek. Um, you know, it takes a very special kind of talented person to do social media. And I would rather be out meeting with the artist, designing a piece of furniture, shopping for jewelry, um, shopping for antiques, than um, taking pictures and being on social media. Um, Come here, we're cute and funny. Yeah, well if you ever need you know, a place to try out some of these things in a home, Laura and I would be happy to you know, take some things home for a while and try them out <laughs> and see if they, they look good. But Well that is something that we do. We often um, let our customers um, take something home on approval, um, put a painting on the wall, make sure you know the light is great. Um, that it, it pops also. Um, we do a lot of decorating, so you can come here and work with us with the fabrics and they look wonderful here, but then we take those fabrics to your home and we look at them in the light and lots of times it's not good. Yeah. So we're back. You know, I wouldn't wanna, oh, it looks great here, then have a sofa made and then take it over there and be like, oh my Lord, what were we thinking? Yeah, not, not too many places you can do that. And then um, last last question. I know you've been doing this, like you said, for 30, 38 years, I think you said. 39. 30, 39 years. Yes. What, what might be out there in the future in terms of the gallery and something for people to look forward to? In addition to hopefully some nice weather. Well, Libby says that I like to reinvent myself every couple of years, and I do, you know, um, I go off, um, and it depends on, on what I find, what I run across. Um, sometimes I'll find an artist and, and I'll be loving everything, and then that artist may go on to something else that doesn't really fit but what I am really excited about this year is um, that uh, my friend Carlton we have um, brought in Carlton shrubs and um, Patty has um, a friend in Columbus Georgia who makes these incredible cheese straws so we brought those in and for a long time, I have a lovely friend in Colorado, and she has um, done engraved glasses, crystal glasses engraved with fish or bear. And um, so with Carlton, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, I love these shrubs. Oh, canners, you know, so. I started in January when I knew Carlton shrubs were coming in. So I started shopping for vintage and antique barware. So um, I've um, got currently a great selection of beautiful and um, very well priced um, decanters and um, barware that help you mix your martinis and cool pictures and you know, and have a great time with your friends. Yes, and we are going to do a separate feature on Carlton as well. So yes, stay tuned for that. Yes. Well, Cecil, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to, to talk to me and the lovers and, and livers of Raven County, <laughs> if you will. Thank you. Folks, if you have not been to Timson Creek Gallery, you are truly missing an experience very, I think, apropos is the name gallery. Um, when you come here, it feels like you are walking through an art gallery. And to your point, one of a kind items, very unique items, items that you will not likely see any place else. But plan to spend some time and uh, you will not regret it. You will love it. I guarantee you, um, you will find multiple things that you love and your greatest dilemma will be trying to pick the one <laughs> or two that you want most for that particular day. Well, thank you, Roger. You're welcome. It's all true. Very kind. <laughs> My head, I see it in the camera. It's getting really big. <laughs> <laughs> it's swelling. No, it's not, truly. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, we'll say goodbye. And we'll see you next time, Redwood County. Bye-bye. Yeah. So when you come to visit Timpson Creek, you never know who you'll see. And today is my friend, Carlton Shamblin, the creator <laughs> of Farm to Cocktail Shrubs. And I have to confess that I'm addicted. I have mocktails, I have cocktails, but that's all I want. I, I'll, I want a Carlton shrub in whatever I drink. So I'm kind of a liquor snob. Well, Cecil, I'm delighted to be a part of the curation here at Timson Creek Gallery. It's always about the art of the cocktail and with Farm the Cocktail Shrubs, what better place to um, belong. So thank you again for having me. My pleasure, honey. I'm Patty Estes and have been working with Tipson Creek about two and a half years now. And uh, I'm standing by my favorite location in the shop, which is jewelry. And if you need any kind of jewelry at all, this is the place to come.